Hello and welcome to episode number six of the Thai Wuffenden career mode. We're looking to now win a six on the bounce as we've won the first five of the season and we've got a massive gap in the championship to Jack Holder. So we're just going to now quickly repair our parts of our bike just so we're ready to take on the Swedish Grand Prix where I haven't performed well in the last two seasons at this track as we now look to finally get something from Sweden just checking anything that needs to be fixed and now we are all ready to head into round six of Melilla I was trying to find a way to change the images on the riders but I couldn't find it I was just trying to update them with the newest images but I couldn't find a way to do that. So we're going to head into round six. We're going to sim the first heat. Smarchik obviously wins it. We're now in here. Dudek in red. Me in blue. Doyle in white. And Yunofsky on the outside in yellow. As we all get ready to start the race. We're off gate to a very vibrant track here. We get a great getaway. We lead into turn one. We have double point inside and we fly back past him. We can stick it wide on the outside. We're going to roar through. The bike feels very good already. We weren't be able to get the setup right last season. But it looks like we might have just got the setup right as we are flying around this track. So we look behind us there. We got away from Dudek and Dora. And hopefully we're able to beat the curse of Sweden. So we head into the lap four of heat number two, looking to finally get away good in Sweden and we win the first heat and it's a big win. New record lap time for me there. Obviously shows we've got a good bike set up here. Oh, as we come now out in heat seven, freaking red, Madsen in blue, me in white and Bewley off the outside in yellow. We don't really want to change it, just going to change the gear ratio back to what it was because it drops down after a heat. There's now everyone up to the tents. Madsen taking his time. We've got Frick off red, Madsen off blue, I'm off white. We've got Bewley on the outside. Marshall walks through. We don't get the best start. The best start belongs to Frick on the inside, and then we get pushed wide by Madsen. We clip the barrier. We now look to come around the outside. We've really got our race on now. Between us three at the front. Beauty, how far behind is he? Beauty has dropped off massively. We're nearly three wide. We're going to come up to the back of Frick. And then we look to go between the two. We hit Madsen. We lift up. There's nothing really I could do there. We were the passenger. We lifted up and smashed into the side of Leon Madsen. So now we just need to get the bike on the ground and get the engine roaring. Madsen looks to the inside. We're going to win this race. Madsen hits us back into the wall there at the end of the race. You can't really blame him. So if we watch from our angle here, so we can go deep into turn one, two, we come off the wall, we just speed up to when we're just there behind the two of them, just watching around the outside. And I don't think we can really be blamed for this. If we go to our face on the end, watch it slowly, we get past Frank, we head around the outside. It's probably best if we watch this from Frick's angle. All of a sudden, you just have me and Madsen flying up the inside. Yeah, because there's Madsen, and I just squeeze through. It's just 
hard race than that, I'd say. As we're again undefeated. This time we have fish march like in heat 12, so there's going to be a lot of grip wide. 20% extra grip, 20% less grip on the inside. As we're now going to head out in heat number 12, you've got Wildcard in red, Smartstick in blue, Mickelson in white, and me on the outside in yellow. Smartstick currently only on three points after two rides. As we look, we've probably got the best gate here, because if we can get to the outside, we should be able to go. If we get an awful start, Smartstick sees this all into the first corner. out wide as we now get up the inside of Smartstick but look at how much pace we lose from being on the inside there so you've got to go deep into the grip if you want to get an overtake done I was trying to look up the inside there but then the bike just turned in way too much as we head on to the last lap we'll Smartstick get the better of us and we've had an awful turn for there you basically have to slide your bike through turn one and two and clip the wall. We do have Nicholson not behind us, but we are going to lose the race. And it's lost to Smart Slick, which is bad because it puts him in the good place to get into the final, into the semi finals. But we are going to have to change our tyres because I think the reason we didn't gain on that lap was because of the tyres. But Red yet to win a race, and we're off Red. So it's me off red, Lambert off blue, Lingren off white, and Plitsky on the outside off yellow. We get a lightning start and we get away and we instantly look to go to the outside. As we look to roar down the back straight, we get back into third, nearly take out the back of Freddie Lindgren. We're going to ride around the outside looking to get deep into the dirt. Get the boost and there's the boost that we were looking for to get around the outside of Robert Lambert. Robert Lambert tries to get up the inside of Lindgren. We turn a little bit too harshly on the bike there. But we've got two of them make contact. We're going to come through. We're going to get past Lindgren. We're going to look to the outside of Robert Lambert. Robert Lambert pushes just wide. We keep it on hit the wall but we're going to come to the inside of turn one and two now so we're going to look to roar down the back straight we've got Lingren on our inside we're going to go looking a bit deep we're going to come we're going to cut off Lingren on the inside Lingren went deep Lambert hits Lingren and we're going to win this heat first person to win off red so far and we're now going to wait to climb heat 18 against Holder in red Vashlik in blue me in white and Thompson in yellow So Thompson there, who's currently in fifth, Holder in third, I'm in second, and Vashilik is in twelfth. As we now look on here, only one win off red, and that was me last time out for us, and that's Holder this time. As we're already at the gate, we're ready. We jolt forward on the bike there. Do we have to get out to take Thompson? and leave Holder and Vashlik on the inside. We get a great start and we do get in front of Thompson but Holder and Vashlik have took the inside line. We nearly make contact with Vashlik. It's a good job he's seen us there so it's us versus Holder. We're going to look to get deep in the dirt. Vashlik looks to get past us but we're not going to let that happen. So we're just going to hold it deep in the dirt. Vashlik there again on our inside. Vashlik riding the inside line and making it work so we're going to switch to the inside of Vashlik. We're going to get past both of them into turn one. We saw Vashlik making that inside line work so we had to jolt onto it to stop him using it. So we now look to get around the outside. They both come back past us and we cut back them beautifully. Nearly made contact with the back of Jack Holder as we look behind us to see Vashlik has got Holder. So we're now just going to hold the inside because we know that's the best place to be this heat. Holder gets past past Vashilik, and that's how it's going to end. But if we watch the replay of the exit to turn 
on lap three, which we're going to see now. We watch it from a better angle. We go deep here in the corner. We're riding up against the wall. We see out the corner where we've got hold, so we cut back on his inside. Then we see Schmarch up there, so we just stick it up his inside. And then we just go. And then if we watch the battle between these two, because we just pull a gap on them in turn one and two. Vashlik comes across the front of Holder. Holder goes on the inside of Vashlik. And then Vashlik can't do anything to get back to him. So we win that heat. And it's another win over Holder to extend our title charge. As Dudek is out, Frick's out, Smartslick gets in. Lingren doesn't get in, the hometown hero just doesn't make it by a point. We're going to get first pick in semi final number one. And I'm going to take red. I think I'm the only person, I'm the only person to have won off of red so far. And I just like the feeling of the red gate. It feels quite good. In that one race we had, it felt quite good. Is this going to be a bad choice? Because Thompson has the best gate. You've got me in red, Mickelson in blue, Thompson in white, and Smart on the outside. The reason I've chosen this is because I feel like I can get out in front of everyone. And that's exactly what's happened. We get out in front of everyone. We head to the middle of the track. Tom Mickelson gets up on inside. We ride the wall there. We're going to look to get around the outside of Mickelson. No, we just don't do it, but then we look to stick it out wide again to look around the outside of Mickelson. We get the drive, but he's crashed into us. We're going to have to slow down the bike. We, near, we crash into the wall there, and now we're in trouble. We've got two laps to try and gain up to these front two. We've somehow kept in from the Schmarzik, and what two corners those were to help us put some pressure on the back of these two. As we're now going to stick it wide as we head into the last lap. We're going around the outside of Mickelson. We look for the cut back up the inside of both of them. And what a comeback this is in this heat. We go a little bit wide, but we're going to cut them off. And we're going to win semi-final number one after just being in the wall. If we rewatch it here, Smart Six has gone from the start. He gets hit by Thompson. But as we look, we start riding around the outside of Mickelson here. Keep going for it. We're comfortably in second here, as we're just looking to go around the outside of Mickelson. He hits us into the wall, we start sliding, we have to just get out the throttle. We're at last, and then we just get straight back up the inside of Smart Slick. And if we watch the move that we're going to see in one second here, we just stick it round the outside, and then you see, we see Mickelson coming across our inside we just cut back up the inside of both of them and that was it as now we're gonna get first choice in the final hopefully Madsen gets there with us he does but he didn't win so you're gonna have Wuffenden, Holder, Madsen and Mickelson in the final do we take red? I think we take red again we're the only man to win off red twice so and but there is grip on the outside is that going to be an issue for us? We're going to have to slightly change our setup due to the engine torque. You got me in red, Madsen in blue, Mickelson in white, and Holder on the outside. Somehow Mickelson gets the best gate choice. <laughs> Statistic race win wise. Me and Holder both winners taking the outside and the inside. We get a beautiful start. Maybe even might have jumped it a little bit. Madsen's there, he pushes us out into the wall. And that's going to already make us want to ride a bit rough on him. We cut him off there. As we now look to get to the outside. We're going to stick it on the outside and get a speed up there. We might have gone a little bit too deep there because we've left Madsen and Holder fighting. Could we go six wins from six? We look to get up the inside of Madsen. We push him wide. We go around the outside of Jack Holder. We turn him very late there in the corner. And then we keep the pace right around the outside of both of them. So we're going to come to the inside now to see Madsen stick it on Holder as we're now just going to ride in the middle of the track, get the grip, 
but not too much of it that we lose time. And we're going to win a sixth successive Grand Prix. This hard mode obviously isn't hard enough. It's easier than it was last season. As we win by some margin. I don't know how to check, but this is in hard mode. But we are flying. We are 41 points clear in the championship. And that was very easy. I don't know if there's a way to show what difficulty we're playing on, but this seems a lot easier than the medium that we had last year. So we're now just going to repair our bits. Can we get a new engine? Yes, but it's not the new engine that I want. We're just going to upgrade our frame. So we should be able to upgrade our bike, next, upgrade our engine next episode. But we're just going to have a quick look to see is there a way to show the difficulty that I'm playing on. There isn't, but we're just going to do, we might as well do one extra heat around Cardiff. Why not? We'll have the tie woofing done. We'll be tie woofing in the heat. And we're just going to put it with the best players. We're going to have them on hard difficulty, all of them. And we're just going to have this be... We're going to have a full British race here at Cardiff. We're going to look to find Robert Lambert and look to find Dan Bewley. We're going to have the four Brits. We're going to take the outside. We're also going to have full engine power. Just hope to roar around the track here. Just feel like having a little extra race in this video. You got Bluey on, Bewley on the inside, Lambert in blue, Wildcard in white, and me on the outside in yellow. We don't get the best start. Everyone else gets out in front of us. As we hold the inside, this is on hard mode, as it was shown by choosing the riders. Maybe the, the hard mode in career mode is easier than the hard mode in this, because we have lifted up there and we're gonna We're gonna have another go there. I have a feet I definitely chose hard mode in the career mode, but maybe it's say it's a medium. I've got the clip of when I started the career mode and it was definitely in hard mode. So um, I don't know if it's changed. But it seems a lot easier in the career mode. But maybe that's just because of the engine improvements we've got compared to all the other riders and we've just got a better bike. Which I think it might be because now when we're all with a fair bike it's a lot more difficult. I'd say more difficult, but it's, it's not awfully difficult, it's just a bit more challenging. Shut me up. I don't I think we are in hard mode on the career mode. Because I think it's just because we've got the better better engine already and stuff. So we're now going to come round to three and four to win this all British race by quite some margin again. Yeah and it's not the best time we had a better time earlier this season. So that's that's gonna be the end of the the video. Just had decided to have a little go to see if it is hard mode and it is. So that's gonna be the end of this video. We're gonna be back next episode for episode 7 in Denmark.